and welcome back to another video. My name is Dave and this is Stoke City 101. And in today's video, I'm going to be previewing the Leicester City away game. So, let's get into the video. This Saturday, we go up against Leicester City away. Now, coming on from last Sunday, um, that was a great result against Arsenal. In my personal opinion, they're probably the strongest side in the league this season, as they've shown. So to get a point against them, we didn't play particularly badly. We just didn't take our chances when they came to us. And we didn't have that many because Arsenal played very, very well. Better than they have done in the last couple of seasons at the Britannia. So to get a point against the league leaders was very good. And I thought overall we didn't do that badly. It's a good point to take into this game against another strong side. Now Leicester are having a very good season. Better than most people predicted. Um, and this is going to be a very similar game to the Arsenal game because they're flying as well. They're up at the top of the table. They're currently second. So they've still got a chance of winning the league. Now, they're going to be as tough as Arsenal because they're going to be full of confidence. And they think they can beat us quite easily because of where they are at this moment in time. But they are a very strong side. They have a very high-pressure counter-attacking style. And that's how we like to play as well when we go away. Um, and as well when we play teams like against the false nine, stuff like that at home. We like to play with high pressure on the counter. And that sort of what's going to happen at Leicester uh, but we're not going to be able to do it because we're going to be having it happen to us quite a lot throughout the game so we need to find a way to counteract that um, and cancel out the pace that they've got in Mares, Vardy um, players like Schlupp although he may not be featuring but I'll get onto that later but pacey players they've got in their team we need to try and track them down and stop them from countering because that's how they score most of their goals now they haven't been scoring many goals lately but from the start of the season, through players like Jamie Vardy and Mares, we've seen that they can score goals, and that's always a threat going into this game on Saturday. Now, we're not going to get many chances in this game because although they like to counter, they are going to have quite a lot of the ball because of being the home team. So they're going to counter us quite a lot, and we're, we're going to need to be taking these few chances that we're going to get in this game. That's something we haven't been doing this season. We need to be doing that throughout the game. As long as we get those chances, we need to create them, which we do very well, but we just need to finish them off. And even if it's just that one chance to get us that 1-0 win, we need to finish it off by taking that chance and scoring the goal. But in terms of team team changes, things like that, I would make quite a lot of team changes because of the cup game we have next Tuesday night away at Liverpool. It's the second leg of the semi, and arguably that is the most important game in the coming week for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments whether you think this game is more important or the Liverpool game. But for me, it's definitely the Liverpool game because it's something with more stature. We can get to Wembley by winning that game. And this game, although yes, we're playing second in the league and it's, it's going to be a difficult game, it doesn't have as much importance as the Cup semi-final for us as a team at the moment. We want to be winning some trophies, so... I think for me, the Liverpool game takes more importance than the Leicester game. And I would make changes, maybe bring in Marco Van Ginkel. Um, I've liked him when he's played. I think he's quite a solid midfielder. Um, he's been getting a lot of stick off people, but I think he's quite a solid midfielder. So I would bring him in easily to slot alongside Whelan. Rest Afolai for the game at Anfield. Also bring in Juve, maybe drop Bojan. Because Bojan hasn't been doing it lately. Um, as I've said over the past couple of games, he needs to be dropping uh, onto the bench because... Quite frankly, in the last three or four games, he hasn't been up to his usual self. He's been out of the game. So I would drop Bojan, uh, maybe Affleck just to rest him because we need a creative spark in uh, the game at Anfield. And Affleck definitely creates stuff for us throughout the games as we showed against Arsenal. But I would bring in Van Ginkel because he's just... He's, he's an easy replacement for him and he's just arguably as good um, in that central midfield role. Also, bring maybe bring in Shaqiri and Muneza if they're fit. Now, that's only if they're fit. I don't want to risk Shakiri if he's not fit, if he's still struggling with, the, with this hamstring and he can come in next Tuesday, maybe bring him in then. But if he's not fit, don't bring him in. Don't risk him. Stick with the normal wingers, maybe Jonathan Walters. Stick with him and then just make sure he's 100% fit because if he can play on Tuesday, we definitely need him. Same with Muniezo. He's definitely great on the bench. But if he's not fit, don't risk him. Simple as. Now it's time for me to give my score prediction. And it's going to be similar to last week because it's going to be an equally as tough game as the Arsenal game because they're up there. They're at the top of the table. So it's going to be easily as tough as Arsenal. Maybe even more because of how high pressure and counter-attacking they are. Um, I'm not really sure how to call this one. I don't know. Um, 
we could go there and just nick something. We're that unpredictable, but so are they. They could batter us 4-5-0. We never know about teams like us and Leicester. We're so unpredictable in this league, so I'm not really sure what to go with my score prediction. I want to be positive, but with how well Leicester have been playing in the league this year, I really don't see us picking up three points at the King Power. Maybe a draw is the best we can hope for, so I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. I'm going to go with a Jamie Vardy goal because I know he hasn't scored for a while, but I can just see him picking up one against a team like us because we seem to do that with people. We seem to give people results or pick people's careers up, things like that. We seem to give people things, so I think Vardy... Uh, we could probably pop up with a goal for Leicester, and maybe someone like I don't. Maybe Jonathan Walters could save us again, like he tried to do at West Brom by picking up a goal. Uh, but maybe he could try and save us a point. I don't know. I'm going to go with a Walters goal away at the King Power. So my score prediction for the Leicester game: one-one. So guys, this is the end of my Leicester City away preview. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Also, are you going to Leicester? What do you think is going to happen? Let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. I really want to know what you think about it. Would you change the team? Do you think the Liverpool game in midweek is more important than the Leicester away game? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you think. Um, I love reading comments. Also, leave any feedback on the videos if you've got any. If you want to leave it in the comments, I'll try and improve on any feedback that you give me. So just leave me a comment down below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy the videos, be sure to hit subscribe down below. If you don't know how to do it and you haven't done so already, all you have to do is make a YouTube account and then click subscribe below this video and you'll get all the videos straight to your subscription box as soon as they come out. So until next time, guys, see you then.